Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to our virtual small world classroom. It's Mrs. Everhart again. How was your Easter? Was it fun? Did you get an Easter basket from the Easter Bunny? Did you go out and collect some eggs? Okay, boys and girls, today's story has to do with being your own person and being confident in who you are. And so our craft is centered around a fish that you're going to design that's going to be any way you want him to, he or she to look because it's an expression of what you think about yourself and what you think about the fish. So you're going to, I'm going to give you some ideas, but in the end, you're just going to do it whatever way makes you feel happy with the supplies that you have at home. So in the picture that I sent along with the video, I said that you needed to have some paper plates. So I'm going to do the craft two ways based on whatever supplies you might have at home. So we're going to take our first paper plate and we're going to cut a mouth. So you're going to take your scissors. You're probably just going to have to ask a grown up to help you make the cut. You go in like a piece of pie. Give our fish a nice big smile. So now you have your fish, which you will take and put on the back to make his tail. So you're going to have your trusty little glue, which is always nearby when we work. You're going to do a little dab of glue because a little dab will do you. And you're going to just glue it on to the paper plate like this and you make a tail. Okay, so we're going to do that with our other paper plate because we're going to do the craft, as I said, two different ways. You're going to take your scissors, have a grown up, cut a little triangle, which will then get glued to become the fish's tail. Let's go back to our glue. We'll do a little dab, we'll do ya. We're gonna glue it on to the back of the paper plate like this. Okay, boys and girls? Okay. So just to make it a little easier, I'm going to take some tape and I'm going to put the craft up on the board so you can see my two different ways that I'm going to make the craft. One fish. Can you see that? Okay. And here comes the other fish. These are just suggestions. As I said, the story that Mrs. Redding is going to read you has to do with being your own self. So these are just some ideas of how you might want to decorate your fish. Do it whatever way you'd like to do. Okay, boys and girls, we have our two fish. So last week, last couple of weeks, I've asked you to maybe use some crayons for different things that we've been making here at Small World. So I'm going to make the same suggestion. Go into your pile of crayons. This is Everhart has a big bag of crayons. And you can color your fish one solid color or many different colors to, to reflect the many different ways that you might feel every day. Or you can do the, the head of the fish one way, the tail a different way. So I'm just gonna get you started with some colors just to give you some ideas and then you can just finish it on your own. You're gonna take your crayon and you're just gonna color your fish in. First color I took, this is orange. I think that is Callie's favorite color. The next color I'm gonna use is red. And I can either blend right over my orange or I can go out and do it out here. Okay, and the next color I'd like to take, I know one of our friends at Small World likes green. Actually two, I think um, Patrick and um, Emmett might like green. I'm not really sure. I know when we used to ask them for their colors around circle, I seem to remember a couple of the fellas saying green. Okay. And let's do a nice shot of blue, okay? Let's do some blue on my fish. Okay, and just for a little bit of, let's do some pink on the tail. Oh, it makes funny sound when you color on the tail. And a little bit of yellow. Feeling the need to have yellow for springtime. 
Here's some yellow. Oh, I like mixing that with the pink on the tail. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, so we've colored our one fish a variety of colors. You two can do anything you want on your plate. You can make it all one color, like this example, or you could make it many different colors. But what is something that we're missing to make our fish very friendly? He needs an eye. Now, if you have googly eyes at home, boys and girls, you can always take some glue and glue on a googly eye, or you can take any color crayon. I'm gonna use black, but you can take any color. You can take red, you could take purple. Oh, let's go with purple, forget the black. We're gonna go with purple and give the fish a nice big circular, the shape of a circle, his eye. color that in. Okay, there you go. Now, we're moving on. We're going to put our crayons aside. That's one way to make your fish. Another way to make our fish is to use some cut up tissue paper. Now, boys and girls, we've used tissue paper over the last couple weeks here while we were doing crafts together at Small World, so maybe you still have some pieces left over. So we're going to take our glue and we're going to put quite a few dabs of glue on the paper plate, like this. Drizzle some glue on your plate. Of course, when you work on this at home, boys and girls, you're probably going to be working on a flat surface because you're working on a table with a grown-up. But Mrs. Everhart's working up here on an easel so I can show you what the craft looks like. So I've taken some bright green tissue paper and put it on my glue. Next color I'd like to use would be some orange. Again, you can use whatever colors you have at home. Here's some green for our friends who like green. And let's take some blue. Look how nice this blue is. And we're going to fill in the fish with some colors. It's just like crayons, but it's just a different way. Okay. Here's some nice yellow and some white and yellow, green. You get the idea. You're just gonna go into your stash of colored paper and you're just going to put your paper right along on the glue spots, okay? Well, let's get some nice piece of bread right there. Let's see what else I have in my handy dandy supplies here. Hmm. Here. Okay, so you get the idea, boys and girls. Oh, I like that purple right there with the blue. Some red right there. Okay. Oh, I see a nice shade of pink, but I don't see any open glue spots, so I'm just gonna put some glue there for my purple. And what should we finish with? Oh, I like this light blue and green. Hmm. Okay. Little bit of glue on the tail. All right, let's put some colors on the tail. <gasps> this variety of colors. Hmm? Look at that. How does that look, boys and girls? Oh, got some runaway, runaway tissues here. Run away. Okay. All right. So you get the you get the idea. And on this particular fish. I think I'd like to use my googly eye. So I'm going to put this right there, a little dab. And I've taken my googly eye. And I'm going to put it right here like this. And there's my fish. All right, I'm going to move this just a little bit closer so you can see the final products. There you go. Okay, there's our fish. Okay, well, have fun doing that craft today. And as always, we, Mrs. Redding and I would love to see your creations. So make a craft and send a picture and an email to Mrs. Redding and Mrs. Everhart. We would love to see your work. Have a great day, boys and girls. Bye-bye.